The first thing a customer notices when shopping for a product is its packaging. But the role of packaging is more than that. It can also influence buying decision of the customer. According to a study, 7 out of 10 consumers admit that packaging design can influence their purchasing decision. And to our surprise, we have a domestic company who is in the business of manufacturing injection molded containers for the last 36 years. Hey everyone, this is The Market Analyst and today we are going to discuss Moltec Packaging Limited and its business. Moltec Packaging Limited began its operations in 1986 and today it is one of the leading rigid plastic packaging manufacturers in India producing injection molded containers for lubricants, paints, food and other products. Injection molded containers popularly known as IML are basically containers which doesn't have an external labeling since the labels are inscribed during the production process. At a time, when paint industry was using tin cans, Moltec pioneered the concept of plastic pails for the paints industry in the early 1990s, helping the industry to save tons of money due to its durability. And by the late 1990s, the company had introduced plastic containers for the lubrication industry with the value-added features such as pull-up sport and tamper and leak-free features. Recently, Moltec designed and developed the containers for Mondelez Lickables product and became the company's exclusive supplier in India. Currently, the company is developing QR code enabled IML containers, plastic containers for the fertilizer and pesticide industries, as well as tamper proof plastic containers for home delivery services like Swiggy and Somato. The company currently operates 10 processing plants and 3 stock points across India with a total capacity of 40,000 million tons per year. Moltec is also India's first and only fully backward integrated company with a state-of-the-art integrated facility for in-mold label decoration. In 2011, Moltec pioneered the in-mold labeling process in India by installing robots imported from Taiwan. In this particular process, the label becomes a part of the product as compared to other techniques in which the label is pasted or printed on the container. This improves operational efficiency by eliminating the need for a separate label application process. Thanks to its backward integration, the company has superior margins in the packaging industry as it brings the cost advantage. The company has Asian Paints, Berger Paints, Kansai Narolac, Castrol, Shell, Hindustan Unilever, Model S and others among its clients. Now that we understood about the company's profile, let's understand the company further by looking at its key strengths or growth drivers. First one is how the company's materials are sustainable. That is, all the pails manufactured by the company are reusable and are more than 700 microns in thickness. The higher thickness means that the life of the pack is far beyond its initial usage cycle. Due to this reason, Moltex pails, Q packs, and food packs are all retained for secondary usage in households for storage. Also, in mold labels of the package are inscribed into the material that they cannot be peeled or scratched off. And this makes way for superior brand recall for its customers as well as relatively lesser contribution to the plastic waste. Similarly, the company's products are 100% recyclable as they are developed with PPIML technology where the entire package that includes jar, lid, handle and even labels are made up of the same type of raw material called polypropylene plastic. This helps in complete recyclability by eliminating the need for separation during reprocessing. In fact, Due to the property of polypropylene plastic, the products rejected from the manufacturing process are recycled and reused as well. Next strength is packaging market in India. If you look at the Indian packaging market, in 2019 it was worth $50.5 billion. According to industry experts, it is expected to grow to $205 billion by 2025 at a CAGR of 26.7 percent each. This expansion is being driven primarily by the pharmaceutical and food and beverage industries. Furthermore, packaging demand is rising as a result of rising population, rising income levels, changing lifestyles, increased media penetration through the internet and television, and a growing economy. Also, packaging industry is one of the fastest growing industries in India. As a result of these factors, future per capita plastic consumption is expected to increase and Moltec should benefit from this rapid expansion expected in the Indian packaging industry. Now, if you look at the paint industry, IML adoption is low across the board in the paint industry. However, the rapid growth of paint companies created a huge opportunity for a gradual transition to IML packaging. The paint industry is the company's largest revenue contributor due to the high growing volume from its key customers that includes heavyweights like Asian paints. According to the management, leading paint companies are interested in introducing IML packaging for their premium products. As a result, IML adoption among paint industry would be a critical long-term growth driver for Moltec. 
Now the third strength we have is the company's in-house capabilities. That is, Moltec is the only company in India with an in-house tool room, molds, robotics and labeling operations. Furthermore, having an in-house mold making capabilities aids in faster product development and market entry. These abilities are particularly important in IML which requires a high level of automation including robots. With a good amount of key strength, what is the future growth prospect of the company? Let's find out. First one is of course the company's entry into regulated pharma market. The company is planning to enter into the Indian pharma industry by introducing low weight high utility designs. As per the industry estimates, this is a rupees 22 billion opportunity with more than 58 pharma companies present in India dealing in the regulatory markets. Management indicated that the margin profile of this business is superior than the flavor and fragrance segment which is having the highest margin currently. However, scale up of this business should take time on account of DMF filing and necessary approvals including US FDA. In addition, there are domestic competitors in this industry such as Shriji Polymers, Triveni Polymers, Gobaltas, Pravesha, etc. The management is also in talks with a couple of South Indian pharmaceutical companies. Since the industry has not yet shifted to IML, the initial packaging should be non-IML. However, in the pharmaceutical industry, a gradual transition to IML is inevitable because it will improve drug dispensing and delivery. The next future growth prospect is the scaling up of cosmetics and other FMCG segments. Moltec is already dealing with FMCG industry majors like Hindustan Unilever, Mondelez, etc. for their food portfolio. In the cosmetic segment, the company has already approached both existing and new clients. These businesses demand high-end decorations, unique shapes, and quick turnaround time. Moltec's focus on product and technology innovation as well as backward integration bodes well for the segment's future growth. For the first time in India, 360-degree IML with Ultra HD branding is being used. According to the company, addressable market of cosmetics is estimated to be Rs 20 billion. And finally, we found that capacity expansion plan will also act as a future growth driver. That is, Moltec has purchased 2.7 acres of land in Uttar Pradesh for greenfield expansion next to Berger Paints plants which are expected to be operational by financial year 2023. With this, company is aiming to serve edible oil customers, Kansai Neralak and other consumers in Uttar Pradesh as well as North India. Also, the dispenser pumps business which includes sanitizers, lotions, shampoos, conditioners, cosmetic products etc. brings a significant opportunity to the company and is expected to be a key growth driver in the future. In the next three years, the company expects this segment to generate higher revenue with higher gross margins. They have already set up a plant that can produce 90 million pumps per year. The company is exploring export opportunity as the China plus one concept gains traction further. Now that we understood the key strength and future growth prospects, what are the potential risks the company may face going forward? First one is demand slowdown. Moltec distributes its pails primarily to the paints, flavor and fragrance, and loops industries. Any slowdown in demand from these key end-user industries could have a negative impact on the company's overall performance. To mitigate this risk, the company is entering new industries such as agrochemicals, seeds, growth enhancers, restaurants, online delivery, and so on. To stay ahead of the demand curve, it is also concentrating on developing new products. Next potential risk we have is the company's competitive intensity. The company competes with Chinese goods in the dispenser pump division, while in the paint segment it majorly competes with high-tech plastics. The company's competitors in the FNF segment are small and fragmented regional players with limited operational scale. To mitigate this risk, the company has been working hard to develop new innovative packaging solutions while also becoming most cost competitive. Furthermore, it has technological advantage over competitors in terms of manufacturing robots, resulting in significant cost saving over its competitors. Finally, we have a key risk which is volatility in raw material cost. Since polypropylene is crude derivative, fluctuations in crude oil prices and their downstream petrochemical products may have a significant impact on the company's operating profitability. The company delays passing on raw material price increases to its customers, thereby offsetting its long-term impact. Now that we understood the company from its business point of view, let's try to understand the shareholding pattern and financial status of the company. If you are to look at the shareholding patterns in the company, you will see that the promoters held 33.73% of the company. Out of this, the company's chairman and managing director Lakshman Rao Janu Mahanti held 9.17%. However, what spooked us was that promoters decreased 1.40% compared to June quarter. But in order to make sense of it, let's try to look at the financial status of the company. The company has been recording sales growth if you compare it for last 5 years. 
In the year of 2016, the company reported a consolidated sales of 267 crores and by March of 2021, the sales nearly doubled to 479 crores. Similarly, despite the disruption by COVID-19, operating profit stood at 95 crores in 2021 compared to only 46 crores in 2016. Net profit after tax also showed increasing stature where it was only 24 crores in 2016, however by 2021 it touched 48 crores in total. Currently, the company maintains a healthy ROE of 22% and an ROCE of 22.4% with a debt to equity ratio of 0.39. Moltec currently have a valuation of Rs. 2,359 crores market cap with a PE ratio of 20.8. So is the valuation justifiable? Let's find out. The company is able to offer excellent quality at competitive prices because of its wide sales and distribution spread and reduced transportation costs. Moltec has also decided to expand its product portfolio by introducing injection blow molding to the pharmaceutical and cosmetics industries. These innovations have increased the technological gap between Moltec and its competitors, allowing it to maintain its leadership position. However, they face genuine existential risks such as raw material price volatility and demand slowdown as do all businesses. So, we'll have to wait and see how the company progresses in the future. With that being said, we hope you enjoy this video. And do let us know what are your thoughts on Moltec Packaging Limited in the comment sections below. Also, please hit the like button if you found this video informative. Don't forget to subscribe if you have watched it till here. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.